I-V-E. I ain't going nowhere until we get justice for our people. I'm not going anywhere. And we need to stand to fight. We can't be discouraged. We the people have the power. Not only a, a, a promoter of it, a helper of it, making it happen, but he's put, up, he put his money where his mouth is. handling business. I have um, been influenced and affiliated with gang activity. I have been affiliated with, with human, the human sex trafficking realm. I've been through these things. I've been in prison, federal. I've been in, uh, I've been in county jail. It's not just the business side either. It's the street way, which is a little bit better and comprehensive. How important do you think it is um, for her to see her dad in here in this building doing this kind of stuff? Yeah, I think it's very important because uh, like right now I'm 26 and uh, for her to see it now, she can already just grow up into it, you know what I mean? And I can now teach her the proper mm -hmm. steps, you know, that I learned from big bros. After just all the discussion that we have in the chat program about starting a business, running a business, branding it, doing the marketing, selling, or whatever your product or service is, that's all well and dandy. But of course, you can't do any of those activities until you establish your identity, you establish your name. You know, sometimes it's, it's hard for people just to get past the first step. And once you see how easy that is, now you're going down the rabbit hole and getting your actual business started. With Armand and Big Brother Jay and uh, Barry Harris, you know, walking us through the steps, making us do the work, book work, everything, research, you know. Thank everybody for coming out because I mean, being involved in your community is definitely what civic engagement is about. Um, us at Paper Great Futures, we run a program called LACE. Um, some of the participants are here. It stands for Leadership and Civic Engagement Development. So this is what we're all about. We thank San Diego leaders for giving us opportunity to uh, collab with them and uh, get these things done and, and, and share some information with the community on how we can get more involved uh, to see some change in the community. But if you live in District 4, if you have family in Southeast, you know, you know, because we really have an opportunity to have the community voice that city on. Hey, Great Futures, we uh, have several programs that we, uh, that we use to reach a demographic of people that most people can't reach. We will, our doors are open to everybody, but we specifically aim to target the worst of the worst population. We want to be very current. To start going that route, get yourself prepared for college. Uh, I recognize a lot of y'all from dropping the ball in the field. Oh. Oh.
When everything goes wrong, you see some bad. But I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. During Empire, we had a lesson on budget. And this young man has a budget. So we're going to go ahead and let him figure out what the remainder of his budget is. So how much you got left? Ah, addition and a subtraction. person that owned Jack in the Box up the street, he ain't in there flipping burgers. He collecting the money though. So it's one thing to own your business and it's another thing just to own your job. So when you're self-employed, you pretty much own your job. You're still working it, but you're like the boss of your job. You still have to sit there and work as an employee. You're just kind of like your own boss, but you're still an employee. Now when you're thinking of being like an entrepreneur, true business owner, you can step back, have people working for you and doing, doing, those, doing those tasks and then your business will still run. So you want to think like an entrepreneur, you know what I mean? The difference between an entrepreneur and being self-employed, the entrepreneur owns the business and maybe multiple businesses. The self-employed person has to actually work in there. Like Jamie said, the, jack, the person that owns Jack in the Box up the street, he ain't in there flipping burgers. He collected the money though. So it's one thing to own your business and it's another thing just to own your job. So when you're self-employed, you pretty much own your job. You're still working it, but you're like the boss of your job. You still have to sit there and work as an employee. You're just kind of like your own boss, but you're still an employee. Now, when you're thinking of being like an entrepreneur, true business owner, you can step back, have people working for you, and doing, doing, those, doing those tasks, and then your business will still run. So you want to think like an entrepreneur, you know what I mean?